we want to find two values of k for which the exponential function y of x equals e raised to the power of kx is a solution of the differential equation y double prime minus six y prime plus eight y equals zero. So we know y of x equals e raised to the power of kx. So now we'll find the first derivative, or y prime, then the second derivative, or y double prime, then perform substitution and solve for k. Notice how to find the derivative, we'll have to apply the chain rule, which is built into our derivative formula given here below, where u would be equal to kx, and therefore u prime, or du dx, would be equal to k. So y prime of x, again, is equal to e raised to the power of kx times the derivative of kx with respect to x, which would be k, and therefore y prime is equal to k times e raised to the power of kx. And therefore y double prime, or the second derivative of y with respect to x, would be equal to the derivative of k times e to the power of kx. So that would be k times e to the power of kx, again times the derivative of kx with respect to x, which would be k, and therefore y double prime is equal to k squared e to the power of kx. And now I'll perform a substitution for y, y prime, and y double prime into the differential equation and then solve for k. So we'd have k squared e to the kx for y double prime minus six times y prime, which is k e to the power of kx plus eight y, or eight e to the power of kx. And this is equal to zero. And we'll solve this by factoring. We'll begin by factoring out the greatest common factor. Notice how each term does contain a factor of e raised to the power of kx. So we factor out e raised to the power of kx. Notice how we're left with k squared minus six k plus eight. Now we'll go ahead and factor our trinomial here, which factors into two binomial factors. So our first term is k squared, so we have k and k. And now for the constant terms, we want the factors of positive eight that add to negative six, which would be negative four and negative two. And now we'll set each factor equal to zero and solve for k. So we have e raised to the power of kx equals zero, k minus four equals zero, or k minus two equals zero. Well, e to the power of kx is never going to equal zero. If we raise e to any power, it would never be zero or negative. So this factor does not give us a solution for k, but of course the other factors do. Here we'd add four to both sides, k equals four, or here we add two to both sides, giving us k equals two. So these are the two values of k that give us the solutions y of x equals e raised to the power of kx. So this question does only ask for the values of k, but this does tell us that two solutions to the differential equation would be y of x equals e raised to the power of four x as well as y of x equals e raised to the power of two x. I hope you found this helpful.